what do you bring to the four more from your playing days as a coach right now? Uh, your playing days in Purdue or being on the fictitious Coast Squad in the movie Blue Chips back in the day? <laughs> Probably more from playing. I think the one thing about just being a below average player, average player, is that you have the feel for a lot of people on your team, especially a guy who is at the end of a rotation, who is out of a rotation, who's trying to find his way. You know how they feel and you know what they go through. And so I always try to be, you know, understanding of that and try to communicate that with them to a degree. But some guys that are, you know, that are struggling, the last thing they need is some hot air. You know, you have to be honest with guys and try to help them get to where they want to be and also let them know that it's a process. So I think that's a big part of, you know, I had four years where I, one year I didn't play. Um, another year I played 10 minutes. A third year I played 20 minutes. My last year I played 30 minutes. So I had a pretty good feel, um, you know, for what our guys go through and kind of that emotional roller coaster um, of sometimes playing or sometimes playing a role. And I think that's what our guys have done, especially our freshmen. They've done a good job of playing roles, and they know that their value they bring to the team is going to be in short spurts, um, but it's still important. There were no pickup games on the set of Blue Chips? Matt, there was, there was, it was really good pickup game. So a lot of the guys that were in the area got to play and that was me. Mm -hmm. I got thrown in there. Then a lot of guys that were going into that draft and a lot of players um, that were either going to be free agents that didn't get drafted were kind of in that movie. So if you can kind of pick and pull some of those guys, Shaq, obviously. um, Yeah. Shaq was different. He was a, he was the star. (laughs) Him and Penny were the stars, but you know, guys like uh, Thomas Hill, um, Allen Houston, yeah. um, Adonis Jordan, Rodney Rogers, um, a lot of different guys just playing Rex Walters, just playing pickup every single day um, for about, I'd say it was like three days. Um, but it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to get to a couple of pickup games, $150 a day. There you go. Eat, eat right. a couple times. You're 22 years old, throwing in a couple <laughs> meals. Uh, that's pretty beneficial. Well, if Allen Houston got you in that game uh, in blue chips, uh, <laughs> you certainly got him back last night with Carson Edwards and uh, oh yeah, I forgot. See, Allen Houston Ryan is, Klein. Is, is is my age, and so we played AAU against his teams, and we played in Indiana Kentucky All Stars against him, and so um, he was great, man. He was a great guy, and he was a great player, and. Um, so, but I, I didn't think along those lines of, of him playing. That's my job. Hey, look, you're on to Virginia already. It's my job to, cr- cr- you, you know, to connect these lines. Coach, thanks for the call. Really appreciate it. I know All you're right. very busy. Thanks you're in the midst of the big thing. Oh, of course. Con- congratulations. Right, Congrats on that right. last night. You bet. That's Matt Painter, Purdue head coach. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.